In early October, NISNA sent six nurses and Dr. Tauger to the Bahamas for four days of medical mission at the Great Abaco Island. This island was hit by the Hurricane Dorian with 185 miles per hour winds, the strongest landfall on record. NISNA's team mission was to keep the only clinic on the island working, located on Marsh Harbor. The facility functioned as an emergency department and the team was the sole provider on the island, working shifts of eight hours. During full four days, they provided health care to 110 patients with all levels of health problems. I've been on several NISNA medical missions. This one was striking for the extent of the physical damage to the uh, island and the impact on the community. Uh, I'd never seen such hurricane devastation anywhere else. And not surprisingly, the impact on the patients, um, those that we cared for, was severe, um, both in terms of the injuries we saw and in terms of the need for primary medical care. Um, this was my first disaster relief um, medical trip, and I've learned so much. And I'm actually look looking forward to my next trip, um, my next medical trip. I'm actually going home and looking to see which one I can do next. I've learned a lot. Um, and it brings so much joy to my heart to be able to help other people. And um, it's truly heartbreaking, but I'm glad we were able to lend a helping hand while we were here. I really enjoy working with everyone and I could see why I've always wanted to do this because I feel like we're all different, different personalities, but at the end of the day, we're here for one common goal. And that's to help those who are in need and dire need of our help and I'm just, floored by all the, you know, passion that everyone had to just help, you know, all of us were ready to work. And I really like that. Like, I could see that everyone is just, you know, just as passionate as, as I am about it. And it's been um, quite the emotional experience. Um, you know, uh, basically it's been very eye-opening. And there's not a house that's not untouched. There's not a person that's not affected at least in the Abaco Islands and along the Keys. Um, because a lot of people had evacuated, we were mostly able to help the people here that are trying to reconstruct and rebuild their lives. But I would definitely love to be involved with disaster relief again. It's been a, a very heart, heartwarming experience and um, truly uh, helps my passion as a nurse because this is why I became a nurse, is to help people um, and not just work at bedside in the hospital.